Yo, what is up gamers? It's Sebastian for a brand new video. Now here will be an interesting one. It's going to be a TCG video, but basically last week there was a bunch of regionals, a bunch of nationals. The first regionals and nationals since the ban list, the new ban list that came into effect last week. I almost said last month, but that would have been wild. But anyway, so we have new regional decks, new meta, new nationals, etc. So I've compiled as many as I can. And I'm going to do a little sort of highlight over some of the decks that we've seen. And so here's my PowerPoint. Now, I love making PowerPoints, basically. So here we go. May 2022 format. Week 1 of May 2022 format. Yeah, let's get into it. So firstly, let's go over what has changed since the start of the format. We have a new Forbidden Unlimited list. Boom. And we have a Dimension Force set. Now, this has released cards such as Therions. It's released new punk cards. It has released some other stuff. Doesn't matter, basically. Um, but anyways, yeah, so Dimension Force, big set. Therions, punks, we're going to see some of that. Um, but that's boom. Top index. These are both from nationals, regionals, basically all combined. We have a breakdown. We have... 16 branded Despia overall. Fush. Uh, with two of those branded Despias being uh, different sort of variations of it. One of those branded Despia is Adventurer. One of those is Predapan. But most of them is the standard good old branded Despia. We have 19 Sword Soul. One is Adventurer. Three are Blind Second as far as I could tell. I don't know about the rest. But yeah, just boom. Big weekend for Sword Soul, although if you look at the Nationals, uh, sort of European side of stuff, a lot more branded Despia than Sword Soul, is at the Regionals where Sword Souls have gone to the moon, unlike any sort of crypto. Um, so if you're looking for inspiration, uh, maybe play Despia, maybe play Sword Soul. We see here at regionals, Flew on the Reeds has been seeing a lot of success, but you go to a higher tier of offense, such as nationals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but other decks that are other offense sort have of been like Tri Brigade, Drytron, Salamine, Grey, Eldritch has seen quite nice. We see we have two Therion Punk, two ABC Therion, those are sort of new decks. Sun Avalon is a new deck that's popping up as well. Uh, all these deck lists, well, all these deck profiles will be in the description of the video below. So if you'd like to check any of them, then just whoop, go down. It's easy. Um, I'll also be updating it for every week. Uh, I'll try to do it each Friday if possible. Uh, that's when I'm making like the pie charts, the PowerPoint, because I want to like hold off as long as possible for everyone to have time to upload deck profiles. But this is just out of all the deck profiles I could find. Rush, here they are. Um, but yeah, this other deck is really strong, though. So watch out for that. Uh, if we, In fact, actually, I broke down what the others are. We have Infernoble, Mindburn, etc. If you look at the Nationals, it's the stuff like this. You can see down there. I'm not reading them all out. Boom. Now, uh, I didn't have time to pick out every single uh, deck. But I didn't have time to make every deck profile. Uh, into a deck list, so because there's like 75 deck profiles, something like that. And honestly, I may be a loser, but I'm not that much of a loser to go through all of them, uh, not on my own at least. So uh, I only have a few, but I picked out what I would, what I think would probably be relevant, um, cons wise considering the sort of time restraint I had, because I do want to get this out on Friday. Um, but first, let's go into Despia. This is uh, the first place list from the Austrian Nationals. Uh, this is the standard branded Despia. Let's see how it's changed since last format. Um, they have a new fusion monster called Alba Lenatus. It came out in Dimension Force. Uh, this list isn't playing it, but this list is playing branded Banishment. And that's the that's the Trap Super Body card. That, that card's sick. Uh, we also seen this list. It's allure, but only one Mercuria. This sort of like it's like the allure build, but cut down. Sort of to see your more powerful cards more often. We see cross out. I think cross out is a very good tech card in Despia because basically you lose to Ash and you lose to Crow, which is exactly the two targets he's playing for cross out. Uh, was I think perfect. Uh, 
don't really need anything more than that, to be honest. We're seeing Gold Sark instead of Forest Burial, probably because Gold Sark adds back to hand. I uh, see three Albus. I don't know how standard that is. I, I, I see a lot of this with two, so this is my first time seeing one on three, but you see like three Agent Chain. Agent Chain is broken. Like one of the most broken cards ever. Um, but, anyways, if we look in the side, we're going to see something that we'll see in all of these decks, basically. And that's the barrier. Which is a really broken trap card. If you're you can declare Etsy's uh pendulum, synchro, ritual, fusion, and um, basically for the rest of the turn either pair can special summon those monsters and their effects are negated. So you flip up the barrier against a deck with fifteen fusion monsters, they're tough out of luck. Or you flip it against Short Soul. Not much they can really do about that. So D Barry is seeing a lot of play now because holy crap, that card's pretty good. Uh, but in the side of we also see that deck when you run. This is like sort of the only deck that doesn't really care so much about it. You look at other decks that are like kind of relevant, like ABC, Therion, or Machines, uh, so and so, or Worms, Ferondaries, or Winged Beast, etc. Um, so, so sort of deck when you seems like a very nice counter into the format. Uh, but anyways, yeah, pretty much uh, what you would think Branded Despair would look like post this. But now, let's move on to the next list. Short Soul Tenny. This is Lower Strandberg's first place uh, Swedish Nationals list. There's also another first place National Short Soul uh, list. But obviously, like I said, I don't have time to break down every deck because that's a lot of time. Uh, but yeah, we, we, I figured... Uh, Sweden, the deck profile was shorter. I'm gonna be real. Uh, <laughs> it was like a 16 minute deck profile as opposed to an 18 minute deck profile. But, anyways, here's what the list looks like we see the standard, we see the sorcerers, we see the tennies as you would expect. The band list doesn't really impact that too much. We don't see Safana, which is interesting. I know a lot of people play Safana as a level four body so that when you circle, uh, kill your sword soul. Uh, you're able to add a level 4 to go into Shishal with your token. Uh, but this isn't playing Safana. Uh, we see Hand Trap Liner. this Ash, Crow, Imperm. Those are really the good Hand Traps right now. Everything else is sort of meh. Uh, Bell is seeing a lot less play now because uh, we see the formats become more diverse, especially with so much Sword Soul, where Bell isn't that good into Sword Soul. Both are cards like Branded Loss very, punish uh, very much punishes... Um, very much punishes Bell because it negates cards that negates activations, something like that. Uh, we see here now this is to do with the ban list. Finally, a deck that's changed to Pop Desires. Ho! Huh. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, Pop Desires to 2 is such a massive source of buff because it helps with your follow-up so much. So does having two pot of greed as opposed to one pot of greed does make a lot of difference for Sword Soul, which is probably why we've seen so many Sword Souls, especially at the regional level, where now the deck is able to just always have the always have the follow-up because, yeah, if, if you just play smart at least. And here we also see anti-spell fragments. Uh, you see, I feel like all the Sword Soul lists are doing this, basically, but they're playing anti-spell fragments. It's like the barrier, but it also works on Fluonderies. Which is nice. Um, but yeah, basically, pretty nice list. It's not playing Hulk or Warwardon anymore. I wonder why. <laughs> but this list is playing Liner. Uh, Liner, you can use it, summon the Ecclesia uh, in the mirror match, basically. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm not like too sure on the applications on the outside the mirror. I just know in the mirror, you can use it for Ecclesia. But anyways, or oh, Shishao. All bats here. They're just like one of those cards, you know. But let's move on to... Sword Soul, apparently. No, this is meant to say Flandries, my bad. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to Flandries. This is Julio Fowles, uh, first place list from the Spanish Nationals. And here we see... It's pretty much the same deck. However, it is playing three pots. We have the Prosperity, we have the Duality, and we have the Extravagance. Normally we see people playing Extravagance instead of Prosperity, but this time we've seen pff, all of them together. I was just having to note, this list is playing Book of Moon. I know some people are mm and, and ah about whether or not to play Book of Moon with the new Florondaries quick play spell. But Book of Moon is very nice. There's another way to dodge the Imperm. Very quick warning, just pff, did you know? If you go normal summon Rabina, they chain Imperm. 
you chain book, they chain Impum again. So the Impum will negate the Rubina. Then book and Moon Resolves, flip Rubina face down. And then in the second Impum fizzles, or whatever, whatever you want to say. Now when you get to resolving Rubina's effect, the Impum, it did negate Rubina's effect. But it negated the effect of the monster. It didn't negate the activated effect of Rubina. So because now that Rubina is face down, it's not... It, the monster isn't negated, so the Rubina will resolve. So Book of Moon, there's always going to be cards like Imperm. There's, what a great card. Love Book of Moon. Uh, that's a little uh, did you know because <laughs> it's funny when people waste their double Imperm on your uh, Flew Under East Starter. Um, but also there's like Shifter, Shifter Racine play. Uh, I'm not too sure about Shifter this format. I'm not going to lie, but... Uh, I haven't done too much testament for the I'm going to be real. I, I'm not too fond of that deck. But uh, if you look in the side deck, we see uh, Cosmic MSD. This is to reflect the fact that everyone's playing Anti-Spell Fragrance. We also don't see D-Bat or Anti-Spell in this list. That's because A, this deck can't play d uh, Anti-Spell Fragrance, sorry. And also B, uh, Featherstorm is just better d -Bat. Featherstorm is like if d could call Lynx, basically. So uh makes sense that... There's not really any need to side the D-Barry here and um, why they'll be avoidant on siding anti-spell fragrance. And then the extra deck is for long reasons. Doesn't matter. One thing I one favorite thing is we see retaliating C here. Uh retaliating C is a very interesting card if you're playing out to face a spell that was special summon, such as Podomization or White of Aramisa. You can summon it from your hand and then whenever a card is sent to a grave, it's banished instead. It's just macrocosmos. Basically extra copies of Shifter. But uh, basically, that's all. That's those are the three decks I sort of brought out because I just wanted to bring up the top three relevant, like the three most relevant decks, uh, because I didn't have too much time uh, to prep. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Here's a full breakdown of everything. We see, oh my god, there's two there was the three tries, there's two there was one two, etc. Um, the others, right here. Uh, you're gonna have to go back earlier in the video to check that because I didn't realize my webcam would be covering it. My bad. Uh, but anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like uh, this sort of content, let me know. Let me know what sort of decks you want me to feature in the next episode. I'm gonna definitely try to bring up an ABC Fabian and a Sun Afternoon deck if I can for next week. Um, but anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. Be sure to check the spreadsheet down below if you want to see any of these deck profiles. And goodbye.